So when you think of golf in Portugal, your mind probably wanders to the Algarve, right? But further north lies one of the best golf destinations in all of Europe. And it's actually the destination I would put top of my bucket list for European golf holiday hotspots that I've yet to visit. Can anyone guess what I'm talking about? <sighs> Roll the intro. So yes, ladies and gents, I'm talking about Lisbon, the capital city of Portugal, but not only the capital city, the stretch of coastline down the west, just south of Lisbon itself, which definitely, in my mind, is one of the best golf destinations in Europe, and certainly one, as said at the start of the video, that I am desperate to go and visit myself. My one and only experience at Lisbon is actually a bit of a funny one. It was when Mark Crossfield, Coach Lockie, and I were actually on the way back from the Azores, uh, if anyone who doesn't know where they are, check them out on a map. Pretty remote location. So we stopped in Lisbon for a layover before flying back to the UK. We had about nine to 10 hours before we actually got on the plane back to the UK. So we thought, well, we're not gonna sit around in the airport all day. Let's get out and explore Portugal's capital city. I have to be honest, usually I'm not much of a city guy, I'm a bit more of a country boy, but I have to say Lisbon itself was unbelievably beautiful and I really, really enjoyed our day out. So that kind of sparked my interest in the region as a golf destination. So if like me, the idea of spending a couple of days in the Portuguese capital, seeing the sights and the sounds of an amazing city, mixed with some pretty amazing golf courses, more on those later. Sounds good to you, the kind of city break, golf break kind of vibe. Lisbon will be right up your alley as well. The region's coastal location on the doorstep of Europe means you'll find some pretty banging seafood in Lisbon. So if that's your thing, if you're a bit of a foodie, that's definitely a plus point. Compared to a lot of other travel hotspots in Europe, it's really affordable and open container laws means anyone with a penchant for a night out in the town will definitely find a few haunts to carry on the celebrations long into the night. In terms of things to do in the city, you can explore local shops by taking the famous number 28 tram through Alfama all the way to the Sao George Castle. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, so apologies if I am. And that's just one of many, many historical sites that are definitely worth checking out in Portugal's capital. That's one of the things that struck me about Lisbon was just how beautiful the architecture was. Really stunning, really charming, and if you chuck in sunny skies, you've got a good recipe for a nice day out in the city in between rounds of golf. And obviously, with such an amazing coastal location, Lisbon offers pretty easy access to a lot of pretty stunning beaches as well. Little towns like Estoril and Cascais have these gorgeous, calm, south-facing beaches. And for anyone with an eye on the waves as well, Lisbon's also pretty well known for several world-class surf spots dotted up and down the coastline as well. Speaking of golf though, golf arrived in Lisbon around the turn of the 20th century. Now there's 25 facilities to choose from, which basically offer a choice of 29, nine or 18 hole golf courses. So when it comes to quantity, Lisbon certainly ticks a box. But what about quality? Well, as you all know, I absolutely love golf. And the reason why I've got Lisbon pretty high up on, or at the top of my European golf holiday bucket list, um, obviously the city, as I said, was definitely a plus point. But some of the golf courses that arrived in this region in recent years and in years a bit further down the line, look absolutely mind-blowing. And I've actually spoken to quite a few friends who are members of my golf club, people who have worked at your golf travel and have been lucky enough to get out there. And yeah, the golf courses in and around Lisbon look utterly, utterly amazing.
I think the best example of this is West Cliffs, which opened for play in 2017. And this place is already ranked as the second best golf course in Portugal and the 15th best in the whole continent of Europe, which is pretty impressive for a course that opened not too long ago. As with lots of golf holidays, word of mouth is a great way of finding new places to go and experience this great game that we all love. And yeah, people from YGT, friends, family members have waxed lyrical, specifically about West Cliffs and some of the other courses in the Lisbon region too. But to kick things off for a list of golf courses I would love to play if I visited Lisbon on a golf holiday, I think we could all agree that West Cliffs is pretty spectacular. Similarly to West Cliffs, Praia del Rey and Artavas Dunes both offer a link style challenge. Obviously these aren't true links courses, um, but with their amazing seaside locations, when the wind gets up, it will definitely come into play and challenge your skill set. So if a bit of coastal golf with the wind as part of the challenge floats your boat, these courses look pretty epic to me. Troya as well, by the way, is another seaside lovely, which you actually can get the ferry out to, which I think is pretty cool, certainly adds to the experience. And as I said, I think these courses look pretty epic, but don't just take my word for it, don't just go off the photos that have been rolling on this video as well. The courses I've mentioned have an average rating of 8.7 out of 10 on the Your Golf Travel website, which come from reviews from you guys, customers and clients who've been out there and experienced these places firsthand. It's not all seaside golf here though, and Lisbon is actually home to a lot of golf courses that you guys might more readily associate with Portugal golf holidays. These kind of lush, parkland, tree-lined, gorgeously maintained golf courses with huge gleaming white bunkers and water hazards providing much of the challenge. Lots of these kind of courses, such as Penalonga, for example, can be found at resorts or golf resorts. So while I kicked off this video with the notion of combining a few days in a city where there's plenty of obviously accommodation options which you can strike out to look various golf courses from. Lisbon also ticks that box for the quintessential Portugal golf holiday where you get to the resort, you're based in one location, you don't have to do any traveling if a few days in Lisbon city itself isn't on your list. The kind of roll out of bed and onto the first tee experience, which a lot of golfers are definitely in the market for, Lisbon definitely ticks boxes for these people. So what about logistics? Well, the flight time to Lisbon from the UK or London specifically is around two and a half hours. So very typical for your kind of European golf breaks, very convenient, you can get up early in the morning, be on the first tee just after lunch. And once you're there, a lot of the golf courses are within half an hour's drive of the airport, some a little bit closer, some a little bit further away, such as West Cliffs, which can be just over an hour's drive from Lisbon airport itself. So no matter which courses you opt for on your Lisbon golf holiday, the convenience factor and the ease of travel is definitely there, there aren't gonna be too many long drives. Temperature wise, uh, Lisbon does get a little bit chilly in the winter months, but really any time from late February right the way through to November, golfers can definitely expect a pleasant climate with temperatures that might climb up to an average daily temperature around the 25, 26 degree mark. Obviously we're talking summer months here, think June through September kind of stuff. These months is obviously the best time to head out there if you're looking to work on your golfer's tan as well as your golf swing. So there we have it guys and girls, that is a little snapshot of what is an offer in the Lisbon region of Portugal when it comes to golf holidays. Is this place on your radar for your next golf holiday? Have you been there already? If so, which courses do you guys love the most? Where did you stay? Where did you play? Give me some recommendations because I definitely want to hit up Lisbon at some point in my future. I'm sure there's lots of your golf travel customers who do as well. So if any of you guys have got any information, make sure you jump into the comment section down below and shed some light on what to me looks like an incredible golf holiday destination. Also, while you're down there, hit the like button, subscribe to the Your Golf Travel channel if you haven't already. And if you've got any questions for me or anyone else at YGT who might be able to help, either email me at raymondo at yourgolftravel.com or call the call center. The number is in the description down below. And I'm sure I will see you guys soon. And you never know, it could be from the fairways of a golf course in Lisbon. Come on, Westcliffs. <laughs>